Hey guys, welcome back to Ganji Plans. Um, it's been a while, um, and I didn't mean to get this video out a few weeks ago, but um, at least I'm filming it before the end of June. I think it will come out before the end of June. Today's video is going to be a June 2023 uh, planner flip through, so you can see how I've been doing since the last time I posted anything on YouTube. I have to say, like, I was gonna try to be more consistent with like working on stuff, but I've just been really enjoying not worrying about it. So um, yeah, I might only just do these flip boots. <laughs> I'm not committing to anything. Um, and I've been just, yeah, focusing on the stay at home mom life, um, preparing for homeschooling and uh, it's summer now. So life is just weird and in the air. It's like three, I'm on week three of planned activities. Um, so things should hopefully get Maybe not more relaxed next week because I won't have VBS or swim lessons anymore, but there's going to be like three kids with nothing to do in the house all day. Um, probably asking to go swim in the apartment complex's pool, which is just terrifying if I'm by myself with three kids who don't know how to swim. So that, that probably won't happen much. Anyway, the point is we're here for a flip through video. Um, and just sort of a life update. I mean, just to say hi. Um, we're still in this ring planner. This is the Fuzz Josma, um, personal size ring planner. It's all scratched and scuffed and stuff, but I don't, I don't care. I don't mind. I don't really worry about it getting messed up. Um, cause it's just sort of rugged. The pen loop holds my G2, which I appreciate as, um, a former Filofax user, still sometimes Filofax user. I think you've seen this. Um, my daughter made this for Mother's Day. And um, I think the laminator at the school ate it up, but it's very cute. And so I tucked it in here because it's the only place it fits. But there you go. And this one is also hers. You'll see that as you get through here. Uh, we're just going to go front to back. I flipped through it. I don't think there's anything that needs to be hidden. So these plastic uh, tabs and this one isn't a tab, but what's it called? Like a flyleaf or something. These are all from Marlene's Plan to Create on Etsy. Um, I got these exact tabs basically for my pocket size and when I moved into personal I knew I needed the same ones because they're so versatile. And then this is acetate that I printed like free scrapbook paper on. I had these from my setup when I first got this and used it right after I had one of my babies. I want to say the most recent one. Anyway, um, and so I decided to just keep using them. This is the insert 52, which is like a 52 weeks future log. And I use this for sort of planning ahead my projects. I try to like give myself a focus project for the week sometimes. Um, or at least I know that like the birthday party, I can work on planning it up through. And it's like this weekend as I'm filming. So, um, but also, like I said, I had like activities going on. So I'm just kind of keeping track of things. It's a nice visual way to see the year. Um, this is an Eisenhower matrix, which I think is like insert five or something. Um, this is where I kind of put, this is my running to-do list basically. And on the back is kind of a brain dump and these things then go over here. I need to brain dump more often because I'm constantly feeling like I'm forgetting something. This is the insert 63. It's like monthly recurring tasks, I think is what it's called. But I use this for keeping track of last time done stuff, stuff around the house. Um, and so I'm coming back here frequently to fill things in, make sure that I didn't forget when I last did them so that I know when I need to do them next. Then I put them on the monthly and then the weekly and then do them. Um, and then I have to come back once I've done them. So that's why I try to at least mark like the day I did them in my weekly so that I can come back and mark the day that I did do them so I know when I need to put them on my monthly next, if that makes sense. Um, so there you go, all kinds of stuff. Recurring test is specifically car stuff. I should probably just put this in a digital thing because it doesn't get updated. Um, like the last time my oil was changed. And I like this insert from Peanuts Planner Co, but I haven't used it yet since I moved back into rings. This guy will be, hopefully I'm going to set it up. This is like my cleaning schedule. Um, I'll show you here. This is just the monthly habit tracker um, insert. I don't think I already mentioned, but these inserts are all from my shop, GenchiPlans.com. And this is the way that I keep track of my cleaning sort of routine. There's things that I'd like to get done kind of every day, and then I'll try to focus on like a room at a time. 
or at least get, give myself credit if I do something like that's an actual cleaning task there and not just tidying up. Um, ideally, I'd like to like get all of the cleaning tasks done in one room and then move on to the next room. That's kind of how I motivate myself sometimes. Because like you always feel like you want to do something else. So it's like, okay, I'm going to finish actually cleaning, you know, vacuum the floor in my room so that I can go and wipe the dirty floor walls in the nursery or whatever, if that makes sense. Um, and then we move on to monthlies. So I've decided not to use these tabs to, de to denote the beginning of a section because who cares? Um, so this side tab is actually right in the middle of the current month. Um, so here's May. I barely decorated it at all. June de didn't decorate at all. Uh, just use pen. This little mini notes is uh, just showing some schedules for things. So if I want to take the kids to the splash pad at the community center, um, I need to try to get to confession sometime soon, just because it's been a while. So those are the schedules there. This is just when things are happening. Um, and then over here, these are like weekly to-do lists. So most of these things don't have a specific day. Some of them do. Um, but a lot of them is like try to work on it sometime this week. So as I'm filming this on a Monday evening, I haven't done the stuff from this week yet. Um, and I haven't done, oh, I did do this. But I haven't changed my razors yet because I'm about to get real mad and abandon Dollar Shave Club forever because they will not respond to my customer service queries about where my latest shipment is. So I've started doing some planning ahead for July. Um, I still have to add stuff from that monthly habits or was this one from here over here, for example. Um, but writing stuff down is important and I'm trying to make sure because I've started to look here first um, and I'm starting to forget about the things that are on my digital calendar so I need to make sure to either check that and move stuff here uh, so that I don't forget about it and then I have the rest of the year printed out there's a couple things in here like I have a dentist appointment scheduled um, and then there we go the far future log is farther along. This is my um, like weeks pregnant tracker thingy. This helps me remember how far along I am. So where are we currently? This is this week here. So I'm 17 weeks. <clears throat> um, and I have not finished filling it out. That's why this tag is here. Every so often I'll get a couple of minutes to sit down with my planner and I'll fill out a few more of the dates. It does take kind of a while to set it up, but I find it's really helpful to have. So it's worth it to me. This is part of the pregnancy bundle, which is insert 40. And then this is a freebie from the shop. It's just like um, feast days or Catholic feast days. I just want to make sure I know when those are because a lot of them will move around or sometimes you forget like which one is the holy day of obligation. I can never remember whether it's the assumption or the ascension or the, um, the other one, uh, the nativity of Mary. All right. <clears throat> there is a free promo. I think there's still time. If you have prime, you can get Grubhub free for a year or if you do it sooner for two years. So that's why it's, why does it say 2023? Okay, that's not good. I need to fix that. Um, anyway, I need to cancel Grubhub before it expires because I don't want to have to start paying 10 bucks a month for something I don't use. Because I don't. I don't use it, but it was free, so I'm like, whatever. Birthdays and anniversaries. So I look at this every time I'm setting up my monthly calendar. And then this tab here does actually denote the beginning of a section. Um, this is what my daughter drew me. This is um, an edition of me as a child holding is that a baby doll I think and this is two of my stuffies from when I was a child she asked me what I like to play with and I told her uh so here I am dancing in the moonlight I guess thought that was very cute I like it when she gives me small pictures that I can fit in my planner instead of the big ones that I don't have anywhere to put so here we are back at this is this is May because our anniversary is in May um I have not been decorating a lot, or at least I started out not decorating a lot. Using insert 22, which is this uh, split weekly. So you have Monday through Friday here and then the weekend here. This is like the very first insert I ever designed for the shop. Real throwback. 
it was working out, so I kept using it, printed out more, started using a little bit of color. Uh, what was this one here? Oh, this is like tracking time that I needed to spend cleaning because like sometimes when the apartment just gets a little disordered I'm like I need to set a five minute timer per room I really like the way this lettering turned out and then this here I was liking this um I put little like everyone had um sort of a project to work on for the day and then a load of laundry dinner and then what I was going to do in the evening I like the little icons um but then after that week I never put a date on this. I needed a daily. <coughs> it was for this day, I think. But then I ran out of weeklies, so I moved on to this weekly, which is the rolling weekly. As you'll see, it went all the way from Monday through the following Tuesday. And that's where I currently am. I'm like right here. Um, so I can't tell you how well this is or isn't working for me right now. I know in the past I've loved it. Um, it gives you just a lot of flexibility. As soon as you run out of space for your dailies, you just move on to the next one wherever you are. You just start a new uh, spread. So as you can see, I'm starting to get a little bit more into color. I pulled out some washi tape, but I didn't go as far as getting out the stickers. So and that's where we are. It's VBS week. And again, um, the party for my daughter is this weekend. And then I printed out several of these. So we will be set for a little while. Then the next section is dailies. I don't use dailies all the time. So I just have a few in here and when I feel like I need one for a day, then I will like actually just move this top tab to wherever I need the daily and just do it. So like, I don't remember if this was May or if this was June, probably May. Uh, no, I don't know, maybe June. This was definitely June because I made a point of putting it at the bottom. I really felt like I needed to work on tidying up the apartment, like the whole thing. I had the motivation, but then I spent up all of my energy cleaning the living room. So I wasn't able to finish it, but I was able to finish the day after uh, with the kids help and a lot of nagging. So this one, I really like this daily. Um, I think as the kids get more like older and have activities outside the home more, this is going to be super useful because it gives you space to put like the schedule for multiple different people. Um, I started to sort of set it up for this particular day because I was going to be like, it, it ended up differently than um, I had originally envisioned. So I didn't end up using that. And here I got as far as putting the date on it and that didn't actually use it. So I just have a few different, uh, this is fun, I did colors for that day. Again, it was like when I need to do a lot of cleaning <laughs> is when I end up pulling out a daily apparently. That's just my life now. This is another favorite though, insert 45, where you can, um, I didn't there, uh, where you can trace parts of the little weather doodle to make your own little weather doodle. Um, you can do it for snow or rain or clouds or sun or anything. And then this is a daily that I got from Peanuts Planner Co. And I wanted to use, it's kind of a journaling daily. I just, I think on days when I'm not focused on productivity, I'm not in my planner. So I still want to try to use it and have a sort of more feelings focused goal. But uh, I just haven't, haven't, I never remember that it's there. These sticky notes are from Peanuts Planner Co. also, by the way, there was a daily one earlier. Then this next, this middle tab or third tab here is meal plans. So I love this insert as well, insert 27. Use it all the time um, whenever I am setting up my grocery list, my meal planning. And um, I just did some grocery shopping. So this is for the next week or so, maybe a little longer, depending on how much leftovers we have. Um, and I use like the circles are for shelf stability and then the X's are when I have the ingredients and then when I make the food and when we've eaten all of the leftovers, that's what those are for. So you can make like a schedule and then on the back there's room for a grocery list. Um, and I like to keep them in here, the used ones, so that I can look back and go like, oh, what have we had recently? Like what's good? I forget. Uh, just to jog my memory and, and give me some inspiration. Then tab four is like projects. So the first thing is another 52 weeks 
future log. Um, this one is showing the due dates for articles, freelance articles that I have been doing for um, the diocesan newsletter back like where we used to live. I had a friend who got me hooked up with that and it's been really fun. Um, I basically have just been submitting like an article once a month and it pays a little bit of money, which is nice. Um, and I've been getting to flex those writing muscles and it's been great. So I have another one that's due um, coming up in another couple of weeks. I'm focusing on other things right now, <laughs> obviously. Um, and then I, we have to set up the schedule for the rest of the year. These are just ideas for inserts that I'd like to make. If you have any, please do let me know and I can try to prioritize your ideas. Then this little top tab is supposed to be for my current project. So um, my current... <laughs> my current project. This is um, the summer routines that I set up for the kids. This is like everything they have to get done in the morning and they have a checklist that's in the hall that they have to do every morning. And then part of that is doing a task for me before they're allowed to like screens or games or whatever, or pulling down a new toy. Um, and so these are some ideas of tasks that I can give them so that I don't sit so there going, oh, I don't know what I want you to do. Um, I'll give them a couple of options, like would you like to clean something, or would you like to declutter something, or tidy something. There are things that they can do. Ugh, I was going to take notes on this Instagram that I really like uh, for some ideas of like activities to and sort of enrichment activities for the kids. Never got around to it. Tab four, or no, tab five was empty. So I used all of tab five as party planning, except I really haven't been using it too much. This is kind of jotting notes. I was using it a little bit today as just sort of a messy notes taking space for the menu planning. Um, I was going to get all the stuff at Smart and Final because we're feeding a crowd, but it turns out Walmart is cheaper on almost everything except for the massive can of tomatoes. Because I'm going to make my own tomato sauce because I'm crazy, but I'm buying frozen garlic bread. And then I was, I don't know what this one's for. This one says favors, but I ended up doing that just all on my Amazon shopping list. So then this was a, I don't know, I thought I might want to use the two column one and it got chewed up. I don't know how, and it's just blank. So I, I might end up using more of it as we get closer. I don't know if I'm going to make a packing list in here or a packing list on like a notepad that I can share. That sometimes works better, honestly, is making it on like a, a word document and then printing it out so that my husband can help that kind of thing um some spare of these little flags that you've seen around some more of the peanuts planner goes these mini notes i didn't mention are called insert 70 in the shop and this is all just extra paper so we've got grids we've got some of those um miniature like small, small goals, small projects that I use this Peanuts Planner Co. one from for. This I think was just an extra that printed out and so I put it in here. This is another uh, running to-do list if the current one gets messy. Um, and then I have this card holder it isn't holding cards because I have a separate wallet. It's like has a phone case that attaches to it. So like I don't need this to be a sep my wallet right now, but I do have a couple of checks in here there's more of those page flags. This is my husband's business card back here. And then a couple of these little magnetic bookmarks that were given to me as a gift. They're not that strong, so I don't really find them super useful, but I should probably just throw them on somewhere um, as a, a bookmark. But so far I seem to have enough tabs that I don't need to. And then the pocket, I always have to have a nail fall on me because I'll get like a hangnail or a rough patch and I will be picking at it constantly. And if I don't have something to file it with, it drives me nuts. So I always want to have a nail file with me. And then I, I threw these in there um, because we were going to swim lessons last week and I didn't, I had forgotten to pull my, or we didn't have time to pull my daughter's hair up. So I'm like, I grabbed a couple of these. I put some in my glove box in my car, some in the coin section in my wallet and a couple here in my planner. So I should have a few of these like dinky uh, hair ties in case I ever have to pull my daughter's hair into a ponytail without, you know, short notice, I will have something. And then that's it. Um, it's been working pretty well. I haven't been focusing on the aesthetics because I haven't been posting it to Instagram and it's kind of freeing. Um, I still do most of my weekly planning on Saturday or Sunday, the week, you know, the weekend before. Um, it just kind of involves, doesn't involve uh, pulling out any of the pens and the stickers like it did for a while. And I'm sure that will come back. Like, as you saw, I'm starting to get more into the washi a little bit. And I, I wanted to pull out the stickers, but I just kind of didn't 
want to physically do it. It's just kind of a pain to put them all back again when you're done. So that's just where I am. I'm starting to feel the itch to want to decorate a little bit, but not the motivation to actually want to deal with cleaning it up afterwards. Um, but the functionality of the planner has been there constantly. Like I'm surprised how much I still am using this. I'm finding reasons to use it a lot. Um, even for actual project planning, which is important. Um, it's important that I have like these due dates in my paper planner because I stopped using Asana when I was, you know, pretty much when I stopped making videos regularly. And so I almost forgot a due date for one of these articles and that wasn't good. So again, like I was saying, the digital planning is kind of falling off. So I need to make sure that it all gets in here before I forget anything important. So there we go. I guess I'm back in paper full time and offline. No, not really. I scroll too much. But don't we all? Thank you guys for staying subscribed. Um, or if you're not already, you go ahead. I'm a low commitment subscribe right now because I post videos about like once a month because I'm pretty low key. I'm just enjoying focusing on living my life with my kids and my household and my <clears throat> my spouse. And I'm just, you know, living here. And this is pretty real. Like, I don't think you've seen anything this real since I probably first started. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one when that happens, hopefully before the end of July. <laughs> Bye.